Tonight, the race is on to fight off potential impacts of saltwater intrusion that could threaten safe drinking water for nearly a million people in the New Orleans area. Good evening and thanks for watching the Eyewitness News at 10. I'm Mike McDaniel. There are currently several working plans in place to mitigate the saltwater's wedge that's making its way up the Mississippi River. Today, the Army Corps of Engineers delivered the first batch of pumps to New Orleans. The city now has three out of 12 pumps needed to transfer fresh water from the barges, which are expected to bring water from upstream. Right now, the only place where air salinity is in Lower Plaquemines Parish, but more water intakes will be impacted in the coming weeks. Bell Chase water intakes will likely start to see unsafe levels of salt by October 13th. The governor's office has approved a plan by Jefferson Parish to build a pipeline that will pump fresh water from upriver. Our Whitney Miller explains the process tonight. Friday, Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang hosted a press conference updating the parish on its race to prepare for the salt water making its way up the Mississippi. We got some good news at that meeting, so it was well worth the trip that our plan was approved. The plan is to construct a pipeline that would bring fresh water from upriver near Kenner to the parish's three water intake locations. They will do that by using what's called flexible lay down lines attached to diesel pumps, one on the West Bank and another on the East Bank. In 1988, the tow actually reached about that point and quickly retreated, so it's an ideal spot. So if we can get in that vicinity, According to what the current prognostications are, we should be okay. Along with plans for the pipeline, Gretna Mayor Belinda Constant told the press she's working with the parish to make sure residents don't go without fresh drinking water. We already have plans in place. We have done what we needed to do according to FEMA guidelines under emergency management crisis um, put out for bid, and we'll have our barge secured by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang says she's also been in contact with local grocers to make sure bottled water is accessible. We have been through a lot uh, as a people over these past couple years, and our citizens going into stores and seeing empty shelves is just frightening for them. So to explain that this salt water intrusion would, would possibly um, require that everybody in the greater New Orleans area have drinking water to give them ample notice. We have plenty of time for them to work their distribution channels and to make sure that the the, the shelves were always stocked with very fair priced water. The saltwater wedge is projected to reach the West Bank of Jefferson Parish as early as October 24th. In Gretna, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News.